The Disting NT is supplied with one of these, uh, which is a breakout module called the TMB. It stands for Tiny MIDI Breakout, but we're going to be using it for more than MIDI. Um, so what I'm going to do now is show you how one way you might connect that up to add a couple of MIDI ports and expose the extra audio output ports that the Disting can provide. So um, I'm going to use the cables that comes in the box as well, and I'm just going to shift this testing out of the way um, so I can concentrate on doing this. So um, for the MIDI I'm going to use four cables, two for input, two for output. So I'm going to get um, four of these connectors off here and just split this cable like so. And this is going to be for my MIDI. So looking at the handy diagram on the user manual we can see that the conductors go ring, tip, tip, ring. So the two outer wires need to go on the rings, which is the center pins here. And then the inner ones are going to go on the tips. So the tip is clearly labeled. So let's put uh, that one on the tip. And that one on the tip. That's our two inside wires. And then the outside wires go on the rings which is the middle pins. So that's one there. And that's one there. I don't know if you can see past my fingers here, but I believe I've done that correctly. So the outer connectors are rings, yellow and brown, and the inner connectors are the tips. So that's orange and red. And they're connected pairwise there. So that's it. So that's for my MIDI. And then I'm also going to connect up the audio outputs. Uh, so let's break off a couple of uh, pairs for that. So we'll take those two. We'll take those two. And then audio is much easier to remember. The tip is the signal. And then the either of the other two, in fact, on a because we're going to plug a TS plug-in, um, could be the shield. But we'll just go tip. tip and shield and then this one as well we'll do tip and shield okay so now we need to connect these wires to the back of the module which is here right so the mini port is here um, so we'd like let's say we'd like uh, this to be the input and this to be the output so this is the input which the user manual tells us, and indeed the PCB itself tells us that those two are the input there. So we want these wires connected in that order. Uh, yes, so we want that to be the input. So we want these to be the input. So I'm going to connect them like this. I can actually get past myself. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so input, output is here. So that's fine. And then these, let's say we'd like this to be output seven and that to be output eight. So output seven is just there and tip is going to carry the signal so that's the green one so we're going to go um green is tip so we're going to connect that to the output seven pin and that one to the ground and on this one that we'd like to be output eight tip is this gray cable so we're going to connect that to there And then we're going to connect the shield to the ground, which is that one there. So um, that's that connected up. So let's put it back in the case and then we'll plug something in, see what we've got.
Okay, so I've got an Arturia keystep here, which I'm going to uh, use for the MIDI. Uh, I've got a MIDI cable coming out the back, which I've then got connected to a um, DIN to TRS converter, just so we can get something going. And indeed, why don't we just plug that straight in? So that was the input, if you recall, the top one. Pop that in there, play something, and we've got a little indicator saying we've got activity on the MIDI breakout. We go to the MISC MIDI monitor page. There we go. We've got stuff coming in from the uh, key step. So that's nice. Um, why don't we play an instrument? Let's algorithm add algorithm poly multi sample. There we go. So that's um, our poly multi sample. Let's just connect it up so we can hear it. It's D4 to two outputs one and two. Lovely. So we're now playing the Disting NT through TRS MIDI. Um, and now let's use our additional outputs that we just added. So outputs one and two. Let's go and change that. Uh, so we could three, four, five, six, seven. That's gone off the top. There we go. So nothing coming out of these ports anymore. But if we connect up our cables, output seven and eight. There we go. So we've just got another couple of outputs. Um, so that's pretty simple. Um, you could, the joy of this being a breaker, of course, you could put this wherever you like. You don't have to put it right next to the uh, Disting NT. If you get yourself some longer cables, you could put it anywhere in the case you like. Or if you've got a case that's got built-in kind of unassigned sockets on the back, you could just run a cable from the Disting NT straight to that without using the breakout at all. Get audio and or MIDI coming in and out that way. So yeah, that's the um, one way of connecting up the TMB to the listing NT.